You know what is really good news for people who get sappy about civics? Like some people I know. Um, it's the excitement that's going on around the country for the inauguration on Tuesday. And this is not an organized Obama thing, or it's not even an organized Democrat thing. There are viewing parties springing up organically in communities across America. Organizers in Washington are working around the clock preparing for the actual inauguration in-person event there. But Americans around the country have been making their own plans to watch the swearing in together. Local papers coast to coast are filled with reports of unofficial viewing parties that are happening everywhere from people's private homes to coffee shops and churches and bars and schools and museums. Uh, Cincinnati, for example, they're hosting a viewing party in the city's central square. Kansas City is going to be opening its Civic Center to an expected crowd of over a thousand people. In the Boston area, state libraries are hosting parties where people can gather to watch. The biggest gathering outside of D.C. may be the one at California's Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, where over 8,500 tickets to watch the inauguration have already been sold. Even MSNBC is helping to foster community viewing parties. Not to shill here ostentatiously or anything, but I think this is cool. We have a deal with Screen Vision to put MSNBC's coverage of the inauguration in 27 movie theaters around the country. Free tickets are currently being given out at msnbcevents.com. I think that's very cool. It also means that not only will Obama be on the big screen, but so will like me and everybody else who works here. That is exciting, but also sort of terrifying, and I'm not going to think about it anymore. Our next guest will be celebrating President Bush's exit, as well as Barack Obama's entrance uh, in her own unique way. Joining us now is my friend, humorist Kate Clinton, author of the book I Told You So, which is out in March. Kate, it is so nice to see you. I'm sorry I um, called you unique there almost. That's I hope okay. you meant, right. I meant it in a good way. Okay, okay. Good Special. to see you. you know, it's yes. nice to see you too. <laughs> so you have a very specific plan for the day before the inauguration. That's sort of a bye-bye Bush. Yes, it is the day of service that the Obama family has called for. That's right. And so my service, I believe that the legacy, and you've been following the legacy beautifully, the legacy of George Bush is clean up on aisle five. So we all had to have a little job, and I decided that we should sage the White House. Sage as a verb. What sage, <laughs> which means, well, remember when George went to Machu Picchu? He doesn't either. And um, he was there for a little while, and they were do they, he did that, so you think you can dance with the natives. Oh, yeah. And then they helicoptered him out. Well, like two days later, they called in the shamans and the priests to sage the area to get out the bad spirits. To burn sage in the place where he danced so right, that it would to, not be... to get it out. Okay. So I was watching. I made a joke. I said, oh, we should sage the White House. Well, you know, you have the internets now. <laughs> and so we decided to actually do it. But you can't get anywhere near... Their security, did you know yeah, that? Yeah, particularly with something on fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, an and, herb on and fire. And after the yeah. little, you know, the, the Rick Warren thing, which none of us are happy about yet, mm. uh, we decided that we, since we can't get near the White House, we would do it at DuPont Circle. Uh -huh. So at 6 o'clock on Martin Luther King Day. On Monday, Martin Luther yep, King Day. At 6 o'clock, we are going to sage the White House from <laughs> DuPont Circle. <laughs> <laughs> um, d d is th will this be your first saging? No, I, it is a tradition among many, many old cultures and current okay. lesbians to like, <laughs> sage a new area. <laughs> I should know these things. I didn't get the handbook. Yeah. Well, um, the President Obama's inauguration is shaping up to be sort of a, a pop culture event. I am very moved by the fact that people all across the country are going to be staging all of their own parties to watch people getting together Isn't just in fabulous? their houses and movie theaters and, uh, and cities and stuff. I mean, are, I know that you are excited to say goodbye to Bush. Are you also excited to say hello to Barack Obama? Absolutely. I am yeah. giddy. I am giddy Even with Even though you're excitement. mad about Rick Warren. Even though I'm mad about Rick Warren and won't be bought up. But I can, I can turn the page because we really ha all have so much work to do. And I plan to spend the day on the inauguration day, you know, having brunch with friends and because I'm gay. And... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay, and dishing what everybody's going to wear, and then uh, and just spending time with them, and then just walking out into a new, hopefully, a, a whole new administration. I'm very, very excited about it. Give me the details again about saging George Bush's juju out of the <laughs> out of the, out of the DC First of area. All, dress warmly. Okay. I think that's important. Six Every mom would say that. Six p.m. Gather at the DuPont Circle mm -hmm. at 6.15. We have a rabbi who's going to speak. We have a comic and a shaman. It sounds like a joke, doesn't it? And uh, we are going bar. to sage and light up our sage sticks and send out the bad spirits. Okay. And it will be um, very cleansing and also 
undoubtedly very hilarious. Um, <laughs> Kate Clinton, it's very nice to see you here. Thanks Great for coming you. in. Thank you. Um, Kate's new book is called I Told You So. It comes out in March, is that right? Okay, thanks. Yeah.